Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another No Man's Sky Frontiers video. Today we actually have a brand new patch called 3.61 that should be available right now on all platforms. Yeah, Hello Games was pretty fast at fixing some of the big issues with the new update Frontiers that was introduced yesterday. Also, a ton of crashes were addressed in this update, among many other things. So in this video, we will talk about all of these changes and how they will affect you. Now, coming right up, there's been a number of really annoying crashes in the new update, especially Especially when it comes to reloading save files. That was immediately one of the big problems I encountered in a new update. When you would reload your save file, it would consistently crash your game right away. Well, that was already fixed in the experimental branch earlier this morning, and now it's fully live with patch 3.61. So I have not encountered this bug anymore, and now it's pretty much fixed for me at the very least. But there's a number of other crashes in there that have also been addressed, especially in the more random them once, including fixes to crashes related to placing base parts, to ones related to creature and NPC locomotion. There's also some physics related crashes that have been addressed with this new update and others related to settlement NPC behavior. Furthermore, rendering related crashes and revisiting planetary settlements while a freighter base spawned nearby have also been addressed with this new update 3.61. Now, on top of that, we also have some other settlement bugs that have been addressed in the new update so they fixed a bug that caused settlement buildings to fail to complete when their timer had finished. On top of that, they've also fixed a number of collision issues with street lights and settlements, and I've noticed that, generally speaking, snapping and placing things next to each other works better with update 3.61. Now, I'm not sure if they also fixed the next bug on the list, which is basically the fact that you would not see the benefits from your settlement even after the timer right there at the bottom ran off. Like, I went in and tested this right after the Frontiers update went live and I managed to set up my first town. I waited for the timer to run off, but I did not get the settlement benefits. Like, the number over there, especially the death number, did not change at all for some reason, so I'm not sure what that was about. Let me know down below in the comments if that has changed in the new update or if you got a chance to test this out for your own. Um, there's a bunch of other changes in there that are pretty significant, especially for fleets and expeditions that kind of stop working for some reason in the new update, so they faced an issue not being able to start new fleet expeditions or purchase new frigates, and they've also faced the bug causing fleet debrief screen to close prematurely, but um, I think that those were the main two concerns that people had with fleets. Again, let me know down below in the comments if there's still anything else left on top. Finally, there's a bunch of other fixes to base building, so they fixed the snapping issues with cuboid rooms, they've also fixed snapping issues with moon pools, and they fixed snapping issues with wall hangings and the lights. I think that these were the main changes that I noticed when it came to snapping things together. Furthermore, they fixed an issue that prevented refiners from snapping correctly to large base rooms, and they've also fixed an issue with various large base parts from correctly snapping to each other. And yes, I think that this was actually the one that finally fixed things for me. Finally, they've also fixed snapping issues with the canopy parts, and uh, overall this is most of the changes that we've seen in the new update, you can of course go ahead and check the rest of them. There's a plenty of them out there that have also been addressed with the new update, including the issue that would cause NPCs to walk straight through doors instead of, you know, waiting for them to open up and whatnot. So at least that's one of the, of the new fixes that I've noticed with the new update. Now, there is one small problem, I might say, which is not really that small because it's actually quite big with the bases right now in the game. And by bases, I mean settlements, of course. Um, the Settlements, for some reason, start really well, like you're getting all of these objectives to build a new structure, for example, or to um, resolve a certain dispute between citizens, or just, you know, go in and maybe create an expedition with other various NPCs. Those work within the first few hours but then they pretty much stop, like all of these random events kind of stop and you don't really get anything new to further develop your settlement, improve it, grow it up, so I'm not sure what that is all about. Of course, there's gonna be a video later today that will explain a little bit more what these new systems are, but um, this, I believe, is a bug and I think that it should be addressed 
with a future update. That or there's some strange internal timer that Hello Games must have set with it that kind of prevents us from doing these a little bit faster. Nonetheless, this is it with the patch notes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.